I'm an American, and I went off the deep end. Ed Kemper has been serving a life sentence in this California prison since 1973, when, at the age of 24, he murdered his mother, then called police and confessed to having dismembered college co-eds for two years, as well as cannibalizing and raping their headless bodies. When someone abandons himself to being a victim, he's going to have to be one. With an IQ of 136, Kemper is now the prison's best reader of books for the blind. I'm saying I've wanted to kill my mother since I was eight years old, and I'm not proud of that. It started with surrogates at that a non-human level. Physical objects, my possessions, other people's, destruction of things that are cared about, and then destruction of things that are living on a lower level, small animals, uh, insects, animals, and then finally people. It started coming to a head again, so I went back down. I ran away back down there. And then a month later, I'm up living with my grandparents in the mountains, and ten months later, I murdered them. It made it worse to be on top of a mountain. I was literally on top of a mountain when it happened. And I could sense, I sensed everybody in the world just stopping what they were doing, turning around, saw what I did, and are coming to get me. And I knew I was paranoid at that moment. I knew anybody that came up there and gave me a funny look or a fishy eye or quizzical look, I'd have blown their brains out thinking they were coming to get me. And if it had been in a city, I would have been a mass murderer at age 15. I would have killed until they gunned me down. I wouldn't have been able to reason my way out of it. I was scared to death and I was violent. I felt my back hit that wall. I was the rabbit that always ran, that always backed away, always burned his bridges. And suddenly there weren't any more. And I, my back hit that wall and I came out screaming and kicking and shooting. He was released to the one person that authorities at the state mental hospital recommended he never see again. I got paroled to my mother. A Tascadero decided that I didn't ever need to talk to her again at all. Don't give her a Christmas present. Leave her alone. She got her pound of flesh out of you. I wasn't sniveling about my mother to them. I didn't like to hear what they had to say about her. She went through three husbands like a hot knife through butter. When Four months after I was out, I was back into the fantasy bag. My first date was an absolute disaster. It wasn't her fault. You know? And I didn't blame her even then. I'm saying it was a terrible tragedy, but boy, was it, boy, she didn't ever talk to me again. It was awful. It wasn't sexual or grabbing at her or nothing. I was just such a dork, taking her to a John Wayne movie in uh, Denny's. It's terrible. I'd never been on a date at 16. That was cool, you know? I'd never been on a date, you know? I was locked up since I was 15. But I can't tell her that. Oh, gee, you don't mind me. You know, she kind of got a hung up on my looks or whatever. You know, I mean, she's a gorgeous young lady, pure class. And she saw something there that I guess wasn't there. And boy, she found out quick. Taking elaborate precautions, he drove around universities and picked up hitchhiking co-eds while wearing these glasses. Yeah. These are the ones. Now, would you get in the car with this man? Huh? Hmm? The state has made me much more credible as a human being. While his mother worked at the university, Kemper buried the mutilated bodies in the mountains and took the severed heads home. Then he slept with their heads for days and finally went looking for more. But I was losing a grasp on something that was too violent to keep inside forever. As I'm sitting there with a severed head in my hand, talking to it, or looking at it, and I'm about to go crazy, literally. I'm about to go completely flywheel loose and just fall apart. I say, wow, this is insane. And then I told myself, no, it isn't. You're saying that. And that makes it not insane. I said, I'm sane. And I'm looking at a severed... And I said, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see old ink paints, paintings and drawings of Viking heroes talking to severed heads and taking them to parties, old enemies and leather bags. Part of our heritage. This is me back then, in 1972 and 73. Unable to live with the fact that I just stabbed to death and cut the throat of an innocent young woman. Innocent in the sense that she did not plan on that happening. She didn't do anything specifically for that to happen to her. Yet she was a very active participant in her own death. How and in my memory that? of that, she was 19 years old, and her roommate in the trunk who died right after that was 18. I didn't go hog wild and totally limp. What I'm saying is, I found myself doing things in an attempt to make things fit together inside. I was doing sexual probings and things. I mean, in the sense of striking out and reaching out and grabbing and pulling to me, but appalled at the sense that it wasn't working. That isn't the way it's supposed to be. It isn't the way I want it. See what I'm saying? 
and yet I get, during that time, I become engaged to someone who's young and is beautiful and very much the same advantages and very much the same upbringing and Disneyland values. And uh, she's very much the reason I surrendered. I picked up two girls who were so much like the first two, it was unbelievable. Almost identical circumstances. And I let them go. Everything went towards killing them, and I didn't. But I'm saying, wow, it's uncanny. It was almost like it was meant to be that way. And I said, wow. I've got, this got to stop. And I let them out. They never even knew what was going on. I let them out. I would have gotten away with those two being murdered. I said, no, it's got to stop. And a week later, I murdered my mother. Went back to Santa Cruz and killed her. He killed her with a hammer in her sleep, cut off her head and hands, but then put her vocal cords in the garbage disposal and threw darts at her severed head. I am an American. And I killed Americans. I am a human being and I killed human beings. And I did it in my society.